while the majority of the crypto markets is stuck circle jerking around memes with their tiny wangs, the big dongs of crypto are taking the time to research the innovative technologies arising during these turbulent end of bear market times. Now is the time to identify the undervalued DeFi coins who are going to surge up in the market cap rankings when the markets return in full force. Are you ready for our B double D E? Big Dong DeFi Energy? Well, you don't really have a choice because it's time for Chico Crypto. Of course, I'm excited about DeFi on Bitcoin and BRC20 tokens. Although this technology is in its infancy, only a couple of months old. Thus, the DeFi applications are going to take some time to develop and launch into the markets. So today, we are diving into DeFi coins whose applications are live and they're innovating big time in the DeFi space. Now, you can't say I haven't been on fire lately finding the solid narratives in DeFi coins that will make their way up the market cap rankings. For example, Maple Finance and the RWA narrative. I covered this coin back in early January of this year, showing why it was undervalued due to the coming RWA narrative and the products they had coming in the pipeline. As we can see back then, Maple was sitting just under $3 and was ranked 570 on CoinGecko. Well, today Maple has doubled in price and has shot up the market cap rankings, now ranked 454 on CoinGecko. That isn't the only example. Pendle Finance. I covered it just a few months ago in early March, explaining its DeFi innovations and why it was undervalued. Back then, Pendle was sitting at 24 cents and ranked number 700 on CoinGecko. Today, Pendle has basically doubled as well, sitting at 45 cents and ranked 459 on CoinGecko. So, can I do it again? Can I find the undervalued DeFi coins who will rock it up in the rankings? I think so, because we here at Chico Crypto have the B double D E, Big Dong DeFi Energy. The number one undervalued DeFi project I see in the markets is way down in the market cap rankings, not even in the top 1,000 on CoinGecko. That is Flash Stake. As we can see, Flash Stake is starting to move, but it is still ranked number 1,045 with a measly market cap of just over $8 million. So why Flash Stake? Well, this crypto project has innovation at its core. Instead of staking or locking up your crypto and earning small amounts of interest over long periods of time, Flash Stake allows anyone to buy, sell, and earn the future value of their money today. As we can see from their website, a person can claim up to two years worth of fixed rate yield on assets right away. So what does this mean? Well, here is an example from their docs with STETH, Lido Staked Ether. As we can see, 222 STETH were locked up for 88 days, and the person locking them up would instantly receive the yield over those 88 days, which would be nearly 5 Ethereum. STETH isn't the only asset you can instantly receive future yield from. As we can see from their dApp, they also have GLP from GMX. SUSD from Aave, USDC, Wrapped ETH, and plain old Ethereum. Now you must be asking yourself, how in the hell does this work? Well, under the hood, Flash Stake pools deposits from users together into yield pools, which are then deposited into solid DeFi protocols such as Aave, Yearn, Lido, and more. The user is then able to immediately withdraw the yield he would receive in the future minus a small fee. But where do those fees go? Well, the beauty of Flash Stake is its real yield protocol. Flash is the governance token of the protocol, but also the tokens can generate real yield from the protocol fees each time someone uses Flash Stake. This is done through the Flash Stake capacitor, where Flash tokens are deposited to receive the protocol fees. As of now, the capacitor is just a smart contract you deposit to, but soon you will be able to use a capacitor directly through the D app, which means a bullish roadmap stop 
down the road. And there are more bullish stops coming for Flash Stake. In just two days, they're adding a new asset to the protocol. As we can see from their Twitter's pinned post, it's from a protocol I love. Our ETH from Rocket Pool, which includes bonus for flash takers of the asset for the first month. But wait! There's more! Yeah, this one is gonna be a screamer. A Xerox Jeff on Twitter posted a great tweet thread on projects he was pumped for, and one of those was Flash Take. They tweeted last week. I'm especially excited for Flash because number one, potentially new types of assets in the works, upfront yields for LPs or liquidity pool tokens, and number two, new value accrual mechanism for Flash token. Whoa, new assets including upfront yield for liquidity tokens like from Uniswap and more? Bullish. But what about value add for the Flash tokens? Well, if we go to the Flash Stake Discord, we can see, yes, new value accrual mechanisms are being worked on and discussed. Last month, April 1st, Zachary of the Flash Stake team said this to the core team. Maybe we can do an AMA or town hall soon to discuss the new value accrual options. Bullish stuff is coming for Flash Stake for the rest of the year. And I could see Flash moving up in the top 500 on CoinGecko really soon. Now onto the second undervalued coin for this video, which also focuses on real yield. That project is the Camelot Exchange. Camelot is a decentralized exchange built on Arbitrum, which has a sleek interface. Trading is simple, just like Uniswap. It's just the swapping of tokens, easy for beginners to understand. Checking out some stats on Camelot, it has a TVL of nearly $100 million, meaning that much money is locked up within its liquidity pools. And checking out the DEX's volume, we can see it has consistent volume, averaging around $30 million per day over the past five months. Comparing that with its market cap, you can get a picture of why this project is undervalued. As we can see, it's ranked number 835 on CoinGecko, with a market cap under $15 million. But now let's talk about that real yield from Camelot's Grail token. Checking out their documentation, we can see 60% of the protocol fees get distributed to the LPs or liquidity providers. 22.5% get distributed as dividends to ex-Grail holders, aka those who stake their Grail tokens. 12.5% of the fees are used for Grail buybacks and burns. And finally, only 5% go to the core contributors of the project. And people believe in staking Grail. Going back to Xerox Jeff's tweet thread, he also covered Camelot. Great minds think alike. And as we can see, 65% of the Grail supply is staked. Decentralized exchanges are the way, and with regulators coming after the big exchanges, the narrative for DEXs is only going to make headline after headline, and Camelot is one of the first big DEXs providing real yield to token holders, something that Chico Crypto loves. So I could easily see this project making its way up to the top 500 on CoinGecko soon too. Well, my friends, like I said, meme coins are garbage. They are for chumps who have those tiny wings. Chico Crypto has the B double D E. Big dong DeFi energy. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.